Uh, I am already laughing coming into this video because what we are going to be talking about is tonality and how it's going to make or break sales. And I'm going to tell you, you might be a little uncomfortable in this video because I'm about to be as I start breaking down the power of tonality to give you three very strong examples of how the exact same thing can come across leagues apart. And this video is inspired by a gentleman who reached out to me and I was talking with him and I said, hey, you know, I really believe in selling the way that I would want to buy, creating a feeling or an experience with our customers, and I don't believe in being pushy. I do believe in being persistent. And he says to me, hey, Adam, you know that video you did on do you have any objection? I tried that and it didn't work. And I said, I'm going to pause you right there. This ain't my first rodeo. I've been down this road. People say, hey, Adam, I watched that. By the way, the video I'll link to here at the end is the famous one-liner on how to get on more roofs. Do you have any objection? is how we open it to look for that negative agreement. But it's not just the language, it's how it's said. So in this video, we're gonna break down tonality to show you an example of three different experiences to say the same thing. This saying right here. I'm gonna let you read it, I'm not gonna say it. Then we're gonna wrap this video up with the two types of tonality that you need to master when you're in sales. And if you pay really close attention, you're gonna find that I'm actually using these in this exact video. But before we get into it, I wanna say welcome or welcome back. My name is Adam Benzman, the Roof Strategist, and everything we do here together is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. And in order to do that, we need to master not only what we say, but how we say it. Many of this Everything that I'll be sharing today in this video, I go into greater detail inside my all-in-one sales training, sales strategy, and sales system that I call the Roofing Sales Success Formula. There's a link in the video and podcast description, and if you'd like to learn more, happy to chat with you, uh, 303-222-7133. There's a phone number you can call or text. Just quick disclaimer, um, that line is not for advice. That is for product and program questions. You will not reach me. You'll reach a member of our team, uh, and we might be able to get a call set up to chat option. So that being said, everything I'm coming going over here, you're going to see in more detail in that training platform. Now, uh, let's get to it with today's video. Tonality, how to make or break sales. Now, you see here, I have this saying, oh yeah, okay? This right here, I want to show the power of tonality. I am already nervous for what I'm about to do, and we're going to get there. This is going to be the third example of tonality. So when people say, hey, Adam, I tried that and it didn't work, oftentimes there's a big disconnect versus what's going on in our head, the dialogue of what we think we're saying versus what's actually being communicated and how it lands on the homeowner. So sometimes if you had to say that, that's not what I meant. Well, what you were trying to say was very clear, but how it landed or how it was received is very different. And the number one thing that, that factors into this in addition to body language is tonality. Now. In this, what we're going to do is show you an example of the word of the saying, oh yeah. Let's begin. I'm going to, for anyone who used to watch back in the 90s, uh, Randy Savage, the wrestler. Oh yeah. So we've got one oh yeah, okay? Which is an agreement of enthusiasm and excitement. Oh yeah. Right? Then we've got an agreement. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Someone says something. Oh yeah. And then we have the part that I've really dreaded doing this. I thought days before I did it, but I'm going to do it, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the moan. Oh, yeah. And if I had an even higher voice, if I could hit a higher cadence, I could get even more romantic. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm, now I'm officially past my comfort threshold. I'm not going to go any further. But now you have experienced the three different ways that I can communicate, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Randy Savage with excitement and enthusiasm. Oh yeah, which is an agreement and empathy. Oh yeah, which is a romantic way of saying, let's have some more of that, please. So what I wanted you to get across here, or excuse me, what I wanted to get across is that the tonality of what we say carries almost more weight than the actual words. Now, let's move into the types of tonality that you need to master. By the way, uh, <laughs> I can just see the comments that are going to come. I hope I give you a chuckle. So the two types of tonality that are most important in sales, okay? The two types. Number one is if we break these down, I want to give you like this category of how to use these when selling. And, and then we'll go through some examples on it. Do you have any objections? So number one is authority, okay? 
Authority is someone who knows what they are talking about. They are an expert in their field. When you listen to someone who's communicating something they're passionate about or excited about, they use authority. It is directive. It is a place of power. When we communicate with homeowners, it's not a question. Mr. Homeowner, I want to explain what how this process works for you. Mr. Homeowner, I understand you're getting three estimates. Let me explain why that might not be working in your favor. This is authority. Then the other one is empathy. This is different than sympathy. I wanna just quickly explain this. Empathy is putting yourself in their shoes and feeling what they feel. Oh yeah, that, this, this can be an empathetic statement. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, my grandmother passed away. I know what that's like, okay? So this is a, a form of empathy. Empathy is how we overcome objections to start using the ARO formula, acknowledge, reassure, and overcome, where we put the person at ease, making them feel what? Heard and understood, which builds what? Trust. Trust is the foundation of closing sales. I covered this in a previous video. Trust need money. Those are the three dominoes we gotta knock down to get to the sale, and those are the three objection categories. Everything falls into one or three of it, one of those three. So, authority and empathy. Direction, guidance, power, clarity, and empathy, building trust, making people feel heard, and understood. Now, let's break this down. By the way, real quick, pausing. Uh, these two come across very clearly in my objection strategy training as well as the car park closing formula as you learn to communicate clearly. Now, if you've paid close attention, you've seen that I've shifted from having a bit more empathetic tone to connecting on a deeper level, to having a position of authority, speaking from a matter of fact, from experience, which makes the message land differently than if I'm saying the exact same thing, but I'm talking in loosey goose airy terms, and it almost makes it seem like I really don't even know what it is I'm talking about. And you can see that just through a tone shift, the message is entirely different. So we're gonna re-loop back to that video on the do you have any objection? This is where we search for a negative agreement, meaning people naturally wanna say no, and by saying no, they're agreeing to it by getting uh, saying yes. Do you have any objection? And by the way, I just want to be crystal clear. I know that this negative agreement stuff has become uh, quite popularized in um, uh, the book. By the way, gosh, why is his name slipping the top of my head? FBI agent wrote the book on communication. It's there. Drop a comment, please. Fill me in because I didn't have that in here. I want you to know when I came up with this, this was far before, uh, one, I even read that book. Two, I don't even believe it was published at that point. Never split the difference, by the way, it was the book. So do you have any objection? The idea here is when we're asking for the roof inspection uh, that we use this negative agreement. People want to say no. So Again, I wanna show you the tonality difference. And I've watched people say, hey, it didn't work, and I've shadowed them. We debrief in the truck. Again, this is disconnected to what's going on in your mind versus what's landing on the customer. Hey, do you have any objection if I hop up on your roof for a complimentary inspection and I'll show you what I find? Okay, this is one with, I'm using too much authority. Do you think that's gonna work? No, it's forceful. Okay, now if I, instead of, you know, kind of conf confronting the, the individual or getting in their face, I'm gonna blade my stance and soften the body language, so I'm blending body language and tonality. Hey, do you have any objection if I hop up on your roof for complimentary inspection I'll show you what I find? See, this is an inquisitive tonality, which is gonna land better. Tonality, my friend, is very powerful, and that is the key takeaway. So to wrap this whole thing up, you need to become self-aware, meaning seeing yourself from the perspective as others see you, because we often get in our head. And to understand that there's a difference versus what you think you're saying versus what you're actually saying. And then the one more layer deeper is from what the customer is actually hearing and creating that emotional feeling. So see that tonality, by the way, we're getting into empathy. Okay. So we now know that there's two types of tonality you need to master. One is of authority. This is speaking from a place of expertise and guidance. Remember, I've said it before, selling like a doctor. A doctor doesn't come in, well, kind of looks like your patella exploded. No, they don't say that. They could say it with authority. Well, it looks like you exploded your patella. That's not a good situation. Good news is I know exactly what to do to fix it. All right? Tonality makes a big difference. So first, authority, and the second is empathy. Focus on these two, and you, my friend, are going to win even more sales. And remember, there's what you say and how you say it. And if you want help with both, do check out the all-in-one sales training, sales strategy, and sales system that I call the Roofing Sales Success Formula. There's links in the video and podcast description. But we're about to bring this video to an end, and you now have tools to use and to practice both in your interpersonal relationships in your day-to-day -day, as well as in sales. 
focusing on authority and empathy. Think of this as comforting someone who went through something really horrendous and authority as being the leading expert. I cannot wait to hear your feedback and see your comments. And hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That tells me to do more of them. And I do look at those very closely. I'm here to serve you so you can smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. Now, right before this video is about to wrap up doesn't mean your and my time has to. So if you like this video and you want even more, this is what I suggest you do. Click right here to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training video library. It's all the videos I've ever done organized by category and I have one on uh, psychology and body language. So if you like this video, you're gonna love that one. Download this, you'll get instant access. Click right into the psychology and body language playlist and binge to your heart's content. And that's available right here. Or you can click right here and jump into that video on that one-liner to get more roof inspections to see more on this. And I'll see you in the next one.